Thanos vs. Death Sentry There is a fan who made his own version of this fight, which I truly admired and wanted to share with you. I accidentally found his work on the net. I leave a link in the description box below for the source of this amazing work. But before we get into the fight itself, let's take a look at Thanos and Death Sentry's abilities. Thanos is a mutant member of the race of superhumans known as the Eternals. He possesses abilities common to the Eternals, but amplified to a higher degree through a combination of his mutant eternal heritage and power bestowed by Mistress Death. He possesses vast superhuman strength, speed, stamina, immortality, and invulnerability, among other qualities. He can absorb and project destructive cosmic energy, and is capable of telekinesis and telepathy. His feats include fighting Odin to a standstill, blasting Galactus off his feet, and overpowering the Hulk, Silver Surfer, Thor, and Black Bolt on many occasions. He can manipulate matter and live without food, air, or water, cannot die of old age, and has high resistance to psychic attacks. He is a super genius in virtually all known fields of advanced science and has created technology far exceeding that which is found on Earth. On the other hand, we have the Death Sentry. Robert Reynolds gained vast superhuman abilities from the Super Soldier Serum, which was designed to be a hundred thousand times stronger than the original used on Captain America, and was modified by Weapon X. One of the most powerful beings in the Marvel Universe, the Sentry's feats include defeating and breaking the handle of the Axe of Terax, a herald of Galactus shown as powerful enough to slice planets in half, ripping carnage, severely pummeling and nearly tearing apart the female Ultron, and ripping Ares, the god of war, in half. He overloaded the abilities of the Absorbing Man and fought World War Hulk for a long period of time until both reverted to their human forms, taking into consideration that the Sentry was not even at half of his potential as he was struggling with severe mental illness, and Hulk was also proven to be holding back during his rampage on Earth. After the siege event in which the sentry was killed by the Avengers, after he lost control and was overwhelmed by the Void, he was resurrected by the Apocalypse Twins, who use a celestial death seed to transform him into a member of their new Horsemen of Death. The sentry claims that he became trapped in the sun after his previous death, dying and regenerating over and over again. His powers were seemingly augmented to the degree that he easily defeated Thor. His velocity bends space and time, and is proven to be too much even for a god like Thor. He is powerful enough to intercept Mjolnir hurled by Thor, and to be able to create sand golems to attack Wasp, and to overpower Thor, and to knock him unconscious with a punch. Now back to our friend's amazing version of how a battle should go between Thanos and Death Sentry. They both attack each other and get involved in a fierce battle, although I think that Thanos would prefer to get rid of such powerful enemy without the need to physically engaging him, by teleporting him somewhere else for example. The sentry is powerful enough to knock Thanos away, but Thanos retaliates and knocks him down. Sentry then blasts Thanos with his heat vision. Such amazing work that makes you feel that this story was really published by Marvel. The fierce battle continues, and Thanos seems to be tanking all the Sentry's attacks. Sentry uses his power to attack Thanos with his golems, the way he attacks Wasp, but Thanos easily destroys them all, and then knocks the Sentry away to the moon. That wasn't enough to put the sentry down though, he attacks again and clashes with Thanos, generating great force that destroys planet Earth. 
Our talented friend left it open for fans to decide who would win in this death battle. I agree that a fight between these two would destroy planets, but eventually I think Thanos would find a way to emerge victorious. You can find a link to the source of this work in the description box below. Hope you like the video. Don't forget to subscribe, share and like. Thanks for watching and have a nice one.